South Waterfront in Portland, Oregon really represents the city of the future. It's got uh, such an amazing multimodal transportation system to turn what was a brownfield into a very dense urban neighborhood. It has a new bridge being built. The Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge will be the largest car-free bridge in the country. It has a cycle track with green street features that feed it, an aerial tram that connects the OHSU campus with the new campus down on the waterfront. We built the Gibbs Street pedestrian bridge. After the freeway was built, I-5 and Barber Boulevard, a state highway, this neighborhood was literally landlocked and the Gibbs Street pedestrian bridge for the first time in 50 years has connected residents of Lair Hill with services on the river and recreation and the ability to take a really nice walk. And at the bottom of the tram, there's this really great bike parking that has hundreds of bike parking spaces where you can get free valet bike parking. So this is a bicycle valet and what happens is in the morning people come in and we park their bikes for them and then we watch over them. We do uh, repair work during the day on their bike if they have a flat tire or they want to tune up or anything and then they come and pick up their bike in the afternoon. The repair work costs money but uh, the parking is free. You can leave your helmet, your bag, your lights on your bike and not worry about it getting stolen. This is uh, the largest commuter bike parking area in the United States. Today we parked about 260 bikes just in the valet portion. We're year round, five days a week, um, even during the winter time. There's a lot of people that are riding and, uh, and parking with us. So there's a lot of doctors uh, that, that work here that kind of have sporadic schedules. Um, and so we're open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. I live about five miles from here in northeast Portland. Well, this bike service is, is great. Prior to this, I had to take my bike up on the hill, put it in my office. It was kind of cumbersome, but now it makes it really easy for me to ride and bring it here. If I need minor repairs, they do it for us. I love it. It's, it. My bike is safe. I don't have to worry about it. I was always worried about coming down the hill. I always worked my brakes and this with the cars, and it just wasn't as enjoyable. I like coming down here and then just going straight off so I can go home and not have to worry about anything. I use it just because it's convenient, I think, really. I mean, I would be riding my bike here anyway, but it's nice to just have really available parking. We're sort of at the base of this hill right now, and the hospital is very inconveniently located at the top of this hill. One of the reasons that they wanted to have the valet here was they're having issues with a lot of people that would ride their bike and then take their bike on the tram, and the, the tram was getting a little crowded, and they didn't want to tell people that they couldn't uh, bring their bike on the tram, so they tried to sort of incentivize people leaving their bike here. It's a pretty great commute for a lot of people. They get this like amusement park tram ride and also get to park their bike in the largest bicycle valet in the United States. So we built this uh, app to run the bicycle valet. So it reads people's badge numbers and assigns them a parking spot. And each of these seat covers has the parking spot number written on it. And then when they scan in, their parking spot number pops up on this app, and then we go and find their bike for them. They just take my bike and, and it magically just goes away. And I come back, I badge in and my bike magically comes back and these guys are very friendly. We can't pay them enough. Maybe we could, but we should.